A large group of protesters set up outside of Curtis Sagmoen's house on Salmon River Road Sunday evening. The protesters alluded to Sagmoen's involvement with women missing in the area, and some of the families of the missing women were in attendance. We're not sure exactly what happened. Um, I know I got a phone call, a text message from her husband Casey, and asked me if I had heard from her or seen her, and no, I hadn't, and she was reported missing on... September 2nd. <laughs> Nicole Bell has been missing for three years now and was last spotted in September 2017 in Sycamus. Her family is pleading for anyone with information to come forward to help them find her. It is it the is worst. Absolutely, especially for her little children who cry every day because they have no idea where their mom is. Uh, we cry her. almost mm -hmm. every day. She sees, she, sees her every day. she sees my grandchildren more than I do because she lives here. So she knows the fear and the anxiety and the frustrations and the, yeah, of what's going on and, yeah. and our, our grandkids. About 70 people gathered outside of Sagmoen's house asking for answers and for him to come out and talk to them. There was a little movement on the porch and a vehicle drove away that was on the property, but ultimately confrontation was avoided. John Lawless, Castanet News, Armstrong.